Hello everyone, my name is Dylan Gaines from Michigan Technological University, and I will be presenting our work enhancing the composition task in text entry studies, eliciting difficult text and improving error rate calculation. It is common for studies evaluating text entry interfaces to use tasks where users transcribe short and memorable phrases. However, this task is artificial and not necessarily representative of the way a user might use an interface in the real world. Short phrases are too simple and may not exercise error correction or prevention features. Long phrases can be difficult for participants to remember, and showing a phrase to a participant while they are entering text can cause their attention to shift between the interface and the reference text, which would not occur in a real world task. Additionally, language is constantly changing with slang and proper names, which creates the need for composition tasks in which the participants invent their own messages to type. An added bonus is that composition tasks can be conducted in any language. In our paper, we show that users can modulate the difficulty of their compositions based on simple instructions and that their more difficult compositions exercise more error corrective interface features. We also confront the problem that compositions lack a definitive reference text, which is needed to calculate error rate. We compare three different methods of obtaining this reference text. In our first study, we provided simple instructions in two counterbalance conditions. In the easy condition, we asked participants to invent a message, choose a message that would likely have no autocorrect errors if typed on a mobile device. In the hard condition, we ask participants to invent a message, choose a message that would likely have one or more autocorrect errors if typed on a mobile device. Both instructions also informed participants that they could tap and hold to lock in characters, which was one of the error prevention features of our interface. Doing this would prevent the probabilistic decoder from changing or deleting that particular letter in the autocorrect process. Some example participant compositions in the easy condition included, the leaves are already falling here, and finally done with the easy one. In the hard condition, some examples included the USS Zimmel is a new class of destroyer and the Taj Mahal is amazing. The results from study one showed that phrases composed in the hard condition took longer, were typed slower, and utilized the lock letter feature more often. Each of these graphs depicts the difference between conditions on one of four metrics. Starting on the left, we found that hard compositions had a higher and more variable task time than the easy compositions. Moving to the second graph, we discovered similar distributions of entry rates, but significantly lower for hard compositions. Next, we found a drastically higher use of the lock letter feature in hard compositions, coupled with barely any use in easy compositions. In the final graph, we can see the error rate was slightly higher in hard compositions, but this difference was not significant. Study two used similar instructions as in study one, but this time they were mixed together instead of in distinct conditions. We found similar results to the previous study. Additionally, the hard compositions in this study had a higher out of vocabulary rate, a higher error rate, and more use of the error prevention features than the easy compositions. The error prevention features in this study consisted of the same lock letter features the previous study, but also word suggestion slots, one of which contained the literal characters that the user had typed, essentially locking all characters. More details are provided in our paper. In these two studies, we also compared three different ways of obtaining the participant's reference text. In study one, we asked participants to type their compositions on a laptop after they finished entering each one on our interface. We then corrected obvious typographical mistakes in the reference texts after the study. In study two, we asked participants to dictate their intended text to the experimenter once they finished typing it on our interface, clarifying any difficult to spell words. For both of these studies, we also used crowdsourcing to try to generate participants' intended text from their final inputs. Our crowdsourcing procedure was based on previous work from two of our authors, and more details can be found in the original paper. Ultimately, we found that there were trade-offs between each method. The crowdsourced method required no further participant action, while the laptop method required the most. However, we found that in both studies, the crowdsourced method underestimated the error rate compared to using the participant-provided references. The final trade-off is that the crowdsourced and dictated methods are easier to use in a wide variety of situations, while the laptop method is not as easy for eyes-free or virtual reality situations where the participant may not be able to see the laptop. To recap, we showed that people can modulate the difficulty of their compositions based on simple instructions. This can be used to evaluate novel interface error correction features. We also showed the differences and trade-offs between three different methods for obtaining users' intended composition text. Thank you very much for your time, and we would also like to thank Google, the National Science Foundation, and the Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council for supporting this work.